What is going on everybody, Job FC or Aaron here today and I am bringing you a brand new football manager. It's going to be a bit of a series to be fair, it's actually going to be football manager experiments. So if you stay around on the channel there will be loads more of these to come but I'm starting off with what if Jose Mourinho was the manager of every single team in the Barclays Premier League for one season. I think the first answer that would be he would be a very, very stressed man. But I'm going to be using Football Manager today to see how the Premier League would look if Jose Mourinho managed every single team. So that's coming up in this video. Let's jump straight to it. Okay, so I've got a database here, and as you can see, it's the 3rd of June 2016. So there has been one full season played. There's two jobs available right now. But let's jump into the Premier League and see how it looks. So as you can see, it's actually... Chelsea who win the league anyway so with their current manager Jose Mourinho they actually do go and win the league four points clear of Man City Arsenal in third and Liverpool in fourth quite tight at the top there only five points separating second to fifth I'm just going to show to you that you know Jose Mourinho is in charge of all these teams so he's in charge at Chelsea as you can see but strangely if you go to another team let's just have a quick look there's no name there but when you click on it there's his stats and as you can see there's his name over there so I'm not too sure why it does that but Jose Mourinho is in charge of every single team so obviously Chelsea win the league Diego Costa and Troy Deeney actually getting the highest top scorers and uh, the highest average match rating was Juan Mata quite interesting I bet you Jose Mourinho favored Chelsea and the teams like when he was playing against them let's just see if there's anything else catching my eye there isn't really West Ham up in seventh that's not really a shock though, considering how well they are doing this season anyway. The, so the top six stays the same. Uh, let's just take a look at manager movements, see how many times he got sacked. So he actually got sacked from West Brom, Swansea, Sunderland, Stoke, Norwich and Manchester United. So he's actually been sacked, what's that, six times? Six times in a season, that's not bad. You know, six out of 20 teams. And if you look at them, the majority of them are the lower... Uh, I don't really want to cause events, but you know, the lower reputation teams and then obviously Manchester United, that's a big team, but Louis van Gaal actually comes in to replace him. Brendan Rodgers goes to Norwich to replace him. And then the two people that took over at Sunderland and Stoke also got sacked. So Tony Pulis and Claudio Ranieri both get sacked after just taking over. Let's take a look at the FA Cup and so on, just to see who wins that. Uh, I'll just go into Chelsea. Um, schedule let's just take a quick look at this there's the FA Cup third round where's the Capital One Cup there so they lost at home to Liverpool so Arsenal actually won the Capital One Cup a 2-1 victory over Manchester United let's just go back to the semi-final see who was in that so Everton and Swansea um, Swansea coming close against Arsenal to actually getting into the final and then Arsenal obviously go on to win it United comfortably beating Everton let's just go and take a quick look at the FA Cup if we can whereabouts was that it was here it's not letting me click there we go so Newcastle wow oh no that's I was gonna say that's a fifth round replay so Chelsea actually win the FA Cup final against Stoke but it took them extra time to actually win it let's see if I can click on that yep Diego Costa and Oscar with the goals in that game. So that's quite surprising considering Stoke, you know, they're a team that you'd expect Chelsea to kind of win quite comfortably. Let's just take a quick look at the semi-finals. Um, let's just see Manchester City and Stoke. So that's actually quite a big surprise. Stoke actually getting a 1-0 win. And then Chelsea again, doing it the hard way, going right to penalties to actually beat Newcastle. And you're going to see quite a theme going on. Because I'm pretty sure Jose Mourinho must favour Chelsea because he's obviously won the Premier League, he's won the FA Cup and as you're about to see, he's actually won a bit more silverware and I'm not talking about the Community Shield, he did win that but we are talking the Champions League. He won the Champions League final, again doing it the hard way, on penalties against Juventus. Let's just take a quick look, I don't know if it's going to tell you much about that but um, oh wow so... Juventus actually missed three penalties, whereas Chelsea still, you know, they missed two, so it weren't the best penalty shootouts. Going off the stats, I'd say it was quite an evenly matched game, to be fair, because, you know, Juventus had more possession, but Chelsea had more shots, although they did have the same amount of shots on target. But Chelsea were committing a lot of fouls, as you can see. They were probably on the back foot throughout the most of the game, so Chelsea do kind of rob it, in my opinion. 
Just one last thing I do want to say is, these videos I'm disabling the transfer window for the first window and then obviously the managers can sign people in January if they wish. But that is all for this video, hope you have enjoyed. This is what the Premier League, I'll just go back onto it, this is what the Premier League would look like if Jose Mourinho managed every single team. If you want me to actually bring him back for the teams he's been sacked and obviously the teams that come up through promotion and do another season, let me know and I'll, you know, bring that video to you. But thank you all for watching, until next time, goodbye.